Six months into the heavily debated recoil update, there are still many voices for and against the change. It's hard to know definitively as an outsider if changes to a game are positive, but using what we have, let's take a look. It's well known that the Rust player base popped from the recoil update, creating the highest peak player count since the Twitch push in early 2021, but longevity has since been the question. On one hand, reviews took a dip when the release went out, but the overall trajectory of the game seems to be in a decent place, with this past November being their highest yet. In comparing to other major games over the same 6 month window, they're basically on par. Twitch viewership is hard to judge given the frequency of Twitch drops, but YouTube's search interest remains a little higher than the same period last year, and much higher than before the Twitch push. Face Punch has also been hiring in the past 6 months, and actually has open positions on Rust. This comes at a time where much of the games industry is in a hiring freeze or even having layoffs. But we can't know for sure if veterans are quitting at a higher rate, or if new players play the game more as a result of this change and it's just not different enough to be obvious. We also don't know what the developers' expectations or marketing budgets are, and while the recoil update is on the tip of many people's tongues, every month since has had its own update. And of course, sometimes people quit because of what hasn't changed. So while the game looks like it's in a decent spot from an outsider's perspective, and it certainly isn't a flaming wreck or rocketing to newfound success, it's hard to clearly say much else. From my perspective, it looks more like a lightning rod than a canary in the coal mine. But of course, this change was personal for all of us. I'll include my own thoughts in the comments, and I'm curious to hear yours as well now that we've all had months to experience the difference. Please do keep the comments constructive and articulated, because in one way or another, our actions do dictate the future of the game.